<laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Hi, everybody. How are you? All right. So right now, we were just having a, a little conversation back and forth about living in certain places or working in certain places and it fe feeling either really good or absolutely horrible or, or you don't really notice either way. Mm -hmm. And so this brings up astral cartography. Ever and wonder what that might sound like? Yeah, astro. Here we can show this piece of paper and okay. say, "What the heck, astral cartography?" This is a quick. Well, it's a visual. This is an astral cartography map of the United States. Right, and so you see all the lines going through it. Right, some are different colors. These colors depict the planets. Right, so depending upon where you live, where you live in the world, we have the. North America because we're actually going to do a reading right now where a person has actually asked what is a good place for me to live where would be a good place for me to work so depending on certain plants going through certain areas of of the can do the entire world as well as just the right US. so if you didn't want to live in the right the same country that you're in you could actually say hey I'm thinking of leaving the country is this a good idea or Vacations. Or if you wanted to go on vacation, yeah. where would I have vacation. a really great vacation? Right. And that's when she brought, you brought up the Hawaii thing. Yeah. You know, because I had mentioned in the past that I had been to Hawaii, and when I was there, I thought to myself, if I could have just stayed for one more week, I would have found a damn job and never come back to the States ever. And I figured, well, maybe everybody would have that effect because it's Hawaii. And she's like, not necessarily. Mm -hmm. So we pulled it up on the astrocartography. And so for me... Hawaii, according to my birth location, Hawaii had Neptune running right through it, which meant it was very okay. dreamy for me. Very dreamlike, right. almost kind of delusional. delusional like I how thought it, wonderful it yes, was. I literally thought I was in paradise <laughs> and I didn't want to leave. But if you're a person that might, say, have Pluto yeah. running through Hawaii. Right, it would be a different experience. It would be a really, like, it could be a really bad experience for yeah, you. Yeah, it could be deeply transformational. And maybe changes. not in a good way. Yeah, there'd be some powerful stuff happening. So right now, we're going to do a reading, and it is based on that. Everything we just explained, which is somebody's birth time and date and location, which, by the way, this is all astrology. We do free birth readings for people who put a comment down below with your birth information, and we'll hook you up and give you a free high quality, one-time gift, one-time reading, okay? Uh, 12th of December, 1975 at 9.15 a.m. So as you can see right here, this purple line, this line is Neptune. Neptune is the one that goes right near Los Angeles. This is the one that is dreamy and is ruled by that rules Pisces, that has to do with dreams and um, kind of is delusional. delusional and kind of makes you not always grounded and is watery. And that's why I'm saying this is like, this would be a great vacation spot for you. Don't live there. Yeah. Okay. And that would go for anything where that purple line anywhere is running. Anywhere around this part of the country is not going to be good for you. In that regard, it's going to be really hard for you to work hard here. All you're going to want to do is play. But So that goes for, you know, I'm seeing Salt Lake City and like all Any this, anything that runs along, along that line. Any place along this purple line is going to be like this. Oh, definitely not where the purple and blue are. Yeah. Because that's the moon and the Pisces together. Oh, and this is going to be especially uh, bad. So if you come up here near Saskatoon, Regina, <laughs> right. Moose Jaw, up here... Great place to go and have fun. It's going to be kind of emotional and yeah. dreamy, but you know, not a place to live. You're not saying. a place. Definitely not a place for you to live. Right. Okay. So here, this orange line. This is the sun line. This is why I'm saying Tucson area is going to be really vitalizing for your for your physical being. Even Phoenix, Flagstaff. Albuquerque, Santa Fe, this is in between your sun and your moon line. You're better off being a little closer to the sun, a little further away from the moon. The moon is a motion. Okay, so. So stay out of Denver. Yeah. The moon stay and the out sun of cross there. They cross there. So this it can is, be really intense. That's going to be really intense emotion. 
I wouldn't go there. <laughs> she said I wouldn't go there. Like, just stay out of Denver. <laughs> I, I don't know that I would encourage you to go to Colorado. <laughs> Um, I think you're going to find that you're, you might have an emotional outburst that will be very in somebody's face kind of thing if you're there. And I don't think that's going to be necessarily very positive for you. Okay, so where should this person go? Let's, let's focus. <laughs> where, where is a good place to work? Where is um, a good place to live? I think... Um, one one thing that's kind of interesting is where where you can expand is on this per on this sort of fuchsia colored line right here. This is Jupiter, and Jupiter is where we find things that can expand. And this green line is Mercury, and that's communication, and that's how we can communicate, and and it's how we. Um, get involved with other people and all kinds of other things. It's education and these crisscross right here. So, you know, this part of Texas would do that for you in some really interesting ways. So if you were at all interested in being in this part of Texas, that would be really fascinating for you. Now, I don't know how much is there. I mean, Fort Worth is right there if you were at all interested in that. So that could be a really interesting place. Now, I can speak to this very clearly. If you're living on your Mercury line, you're going to be a talkaholic. Which one's the Mercury? The green. The green one. You're going to be a talkaholic and people are always going to tell you that you never shut up. Okay, yeah, let's not do that. So You have a just, strong Mercury in your chart. <laughs> you have strong Mercury in your chart as so it is. So this isn't going to be a good place, then. We need a good place. I grew up on my Mercury line, and people always talk about how I never shut up as a child. So just be aware of that. Um, so, you know, but if you have a job where you have to talk all the time. Well, this is true. It comes in living. really handy yeah. if you have to talk for a living. Um, so that could be good. Um, but you're also the thinking would never shut off though. It would yeah, be really this, imbalanced. What this really makes it difficult to sleep Jupiter. at night because it, your brain never shuts off. Yeah. Um, now here over here in this part of the country, this dark green line right here, this is the Venus line. And this Venus line is where empathy, compassion, Kindness, love, your um, income, resources, your, your income, your resources, the things that you value, the things that are that you consider beautiful, and then this black line, which is called the moon's nodes. These are the uh, things that your soul came here to accomplish. If you are in between this green line. And this black line, so anywhere from, say, Myrtle Beach up to Buffalo, New York, or even up into Canada, um, from Toronto North up to the, the Lakes area. And then you go all the way up to uh, where northern um, Maine ends into... Canada and into Labrador, that entire area, being in that entire area of the country is going to allow you to be very um, a very loving and caring person while at the same time using that loving and caring energy to accomplish your soul's ambitions in a really positive way. So for you, this part of the country, even this part of Canada, which contains Ottawa, which is the capital of Canada, Montreal, Quebec, beautiful area of Canada, if you were at all interested in living in Canada, that whole part of this, this con the country here is a wonderful place for you to be to accomplish those kinds of goals. So that would be a really great place for you to be. 
So I hope that you take all of these things into consideration when you're looking at where, what kinds of energies that you want to live under. You have to make the decision. You have to choose what kind of energy you want to live with and what you want to accomplish. All right, that wraps it up. Thank you.